Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel. So in the previous video, we have seen about the actions, right? How to declare the actions and how to use the context uh, by for calling the mutations we have seen, right? Now in this video, we will see a little bit deeper into the actions that how we can call an action inside an another action. So we will try to see in this video. Before continuing to this video, if you are coming first time to here, please do support me by subscribing to my channel so that I will be posting more and more front-end development courses. Now in this video, we will see about the action, how we can call another action, right? So now here, what I will try to do is, I will try to create an another action name with the name action A. Okay, so let's remember, let's see action A, this takes a context. Okay, here I will write return new promise. Promise means nothing but what we can say is HTTP request. Okay, HTTP request Axios returns the promise only. Now here it, it accepts two parameters resolve and reject. And here I can write set timeout. Set timeout. And in this set timeout, what I will try to do is for two sec for two seconds. Okay, call context dot commit. I will call the increment increment with a value of one. Okay, if you want to pass, you can also pass the data. So this is a action A. Let's say let's assume, and I am passing resolve. So that means it has been completed. Now this one we need to call in the component. Let's try to call in the component. That means in the counter dot view. So here let's try to keep increment one so that we can have a justification. Here instead of calling store dot dispatch of instead of calling this one, we will call action A. Okay, action A. So we can call this like this action A. Now if I try to see the output here, okay, here it is saying okay, reject is defined, but okay. So we have the project setup is something like that. So we are not using rejects, so we can keep underscore or otherwise we can remove this one. And here, if I try to check the output, and here I am having increment one. So if I click on this one, what will happen? It will call the action A. Action, action A, dispatch action A, right? So if I click here, it will execute the promise, okay? And it has incremented to three. So that means it has been executed. So now here, what I want to do is, here in this one, I am returning a promise. That means when this promise is success, I want to do some other action. Okay, for example, HTTP request has been done. So when the promise has, when the HTTP request has been success, you need to do some action. So here you have did the action, but after completing these all things also, I need to do some action in the component. So that means what we can do is when the promise is completed, so this one will give you a dot then here, and you will get a response. Okay, so if any response is there, you will get a response, and here you can write console dot log calling then success. Okay, and here you can console dot log response. You can console. So I will I will pass the dummy response here from this one. So here I can use the resolve and I can pass it here something like Leela web dev. So this is the dummy response I am passing here. Now if we try to check the output here, okay, here what is the error saying response? Okay, so response spelling mistake I have written I think. So here is the response. Now, if I try to check the output, if you see the console here, let's try to see the console here. I am clicking on the increment one. The action A is calling. So now calling then success. That means the promise has been successfully and the increment mutation also has been done. And Leela web the response also we got. So that means when we are calling action A, so from the component, so when the promise is success, you can get the success by using dot then here. Okay. So this is how we can call the action. Uh, we can call the dispatch action, and also we can get the response, a synchronous response. After getting success, we can get using the then operand. And if you want to call the same action inside another action, let's see how we can call. Here I will keep action B. We have another action. So here I will be getting the context. Okay. So in this one, what I can do here directly, I can call context dot dispatch. Okay. I can call something like action a here directly action a and here if you want you can do the dot then of response and here you can write console.log response 
and you can write console.log calling success from action b okay so here i can write like this now i will call this action b instead of calling this action a okay now let's see what will happen here action b now here dot dot then will not be there why because so this one is not returning any main action b is not returning any promise or anything okay so it is not returning anything so just it is calling this action a and in this action a we are using this den so if you return if you do return here this den promise will be returned so here we are handling the den request here only now if you try to see here output if i click on increment here then now you will be able to see calling then success oh sorry we will try to refresh this one okay let's refresh this one now if i try to do the increment here now if you try to see here leela web dev calling success from the action b and also it has been incremented that means from action b we have called the action a and that action a has mutated the increment value with one okay with one so that means from action b we are calling it action a and from action a we are calling the mutation okay so in this way we can call actions within the actions and also we can call the mutations also okay so we can also we can handle the promise success behavior also we can we can we'll be able to handle in the same scenario reject also the error handling also will be can able to handle this one so this is all about the actions and how the actions performance will be so when will be when we want to use the actions so when you are having asynchronous code when you want to run the asynchronous code so we need to use the actions for synchronous code also you can use the actions but mutations you can call directly why because it is a synchronous you can there is no problem in calling the mutations directly but correct procedure is only the only the uh, everything should undergo with the action component should not be directly responsible for changing the state it should call the actions and the actions will be calling the mutations like this the process will be okay so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you